Today we're going to be talking about the battery bars and battery degradation on a Nissan LEAF. Welcome back to the channel and thanks for being here. When I was shopping for my Nissan LEAF, I found Facebook groups to be both daunting and helpful. It felt like I had to learn a new language at times, people saying things like KWH or EVSE or even level 2 versus DC charging. And unfortunately, the really knowledgeable people sometimes treated the first time newbies like they were incompetent rather than just trying to be helpful. So if you're shopping for a first generation Nissan LEAF, I'm going to explain what people are referring to when they mention the bars. Now I say first generation LEAF as that is what I have and that is what will be pictured. However, I'm fairly certain that the second generation LEAF has the exact same thing and they mean the same thing. They're just displayed on the dashboard differently. So first off, where do you find these bars? If you look at your dashboard on the right hand side, there are two gauges. One displays what amount of charge from empty to full you have, much like a regular fuel gauge. Directly to that is a gauge that doesn't change much. When it's full, it will display 12 bars. As you can see, I currently have 11 out of 12 bars remaining on my car. This is telling you how many of the original battery cells are still working. So if you are at 12 out of 12 bars, this allows you to store more electricity in the battery than when you are down at 11 out of 12 bars. In technical terms and percentage, this is known as the state of health or SOH for short and is what you are looking for when testing the battery through apps like LeafSpy. If you haven't seen my LeafSpy video, I'll link to it above. Let's look at it another way. Think of it like an ice cube tray. Let's say you have 12 spots for cubes. If you fill all 12 of them with water, the tray would be at 100% capacity and you would have 12 ice cubes to work with. However, if one of those cups got a hole in it and you could only fill up 11 of those 12 spots, then by filling the 11 spots, you would still be at 100% capacity of the tray, but you would only have 11 cubes. So while you may read 100% full on your fuel gauge, if you have 11 bars of storage capacity, you will have less energy available to you and therefore not be able to drive as far. It's truly as if your fuel tank is shrinking as the vehicle ages. And this is the essence of battery degradation and is common throughout all electric vehicles. The other question regarding bars that often comes up is when do they drop? That is, at what state of health can you expect bars to start disappearing? Oddly enough, they're not evenly distributed. I'm sure there's a valid reason for this, but I just haven't figured that out. The first bar will drop after 15% of the original battery cells stop working. That is, at 85% state of health. The remaining bars will drop every six and a quarter percent until the very last bar, which oddly enough has 16 and a quarter percent state of health. As mentioned, if you have not seen my Leaf Spy video, definitely check this out if you are in the market for a used Nissan Leaf. A $30 Amazon purchase can provide you a wealth of information about the prospective car and its battery that you are looking to purchase. That's it for me for the day. I hope you enjoyed the video or at the very least learned something. If you did, let me know in the comment section below and don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Other than that, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.